far, and Shio knows that. Gets swatted away by Bolo, as you said, one third of that holy triumvirate, and leaves Shiko in a clutch situation. But Shiko is such a formidable foe. All eyes on him on his team. 1v2, patiently waiting. Inside of open, he can rotate. But there's two different areas for him to look at. He'll take some damage through the soft wall, gets swung on by Geo and Bolo. They'll look to coordinate at the same time. Rotate on in, a bit of a distraction. Nice shot onto Geo. And he's got Bolo next, popping up. No, Bolo wins the fight. It's a tense duel. But the goal from TSM was to overrun BDS and not allow them to settle in nor celebrate the return of Rafal. It seemingly works. And on their own map, TSN takes round number one. Of the incursions so far coming inside of meeting and towards the back of the map by tower. This gives TSM so much breathing room and a ton of time as well. The first 90 seconds are just about done. So with half of the round still to go, BDS will sit there and these 90 seconds are gonna feel like an absolute eternity. That they are. Shaiko trying to find the killer, and that's exactly what they need to be doing because playing this five versus three isn't going to work because TSM can just block the bomb side. They have so many more guns, so many more bodies. Renshi, Bride, Shaiko, the trio right here. They are so capable, and they gotta show us right now, backs against the wall, that they have what it takes. But a chief says no, the net comes out, now leaving just two players left from BDS. Can they do it? Oh, another grenade! Bride, if there ever was a time to be here, it's now, but no, it's a Flawless round for TSM as they end out the series. They take it two to zero.